my name is uh, Mary Watkins. Uh, I have been with the African American uh, Voices Past and Present since its inception. However, before it became uh, African American Voices, we were called the Wisdom of the Elders. It was a project that started through Vanderbilt, and once they pulled out, uh, the Murfreesboro Parks and Recs really loved the program, so they decided to take it up and continue with it. So we started, I think, around about uh, 2012. So, and here it is, 2022, and we're still here with uh, the uh, uh, Wisdom of the Elders. It started out, there was three components. One was the genealogy, and I had started doing genealogy back in early 2000 on my family, and this is how I got involved. Uh, the three components was genealogy, uh, uh, paintings, art, to uh, be able to capture life experience on canvas, and then also churches and cemeteries, which was the former Dr. Uh, George Smith Park. And the reason why the church and the uh, cemetery is so important, because if you're doing genealogy, the cemetery has so much history in it. And that's the reason why we wanted to include that. And matter of fact, we have gone to cemeteries. Look at those names on there. That tells you a whole lot. Even the headstones itself can tell you about those people. Over the years, we'll continue with that same, uh, that same uh, mission of the program. And so in every year, what we do, uh, the instructors come up with what they want the class to do. Now, I always have to, I always do the genealogy, add that part in there, but we also add other components to the genealogy, uh, painting a family uh, tree, uh, uh, that's something like that. And this, right now, we're working on uh, the shoulders of which they are standing on. They're gonna do a book about somebody special that influenced their life. First of all, we're really happy to be celebrating 10 years of the African American Voices Past and Present here at Patterson Park Community Center. And this is the visual module. And we're just a continuation of, from the genealogy that Miss Mary Watkins does. And what we try to do is just to pivot off of what she's doing, where we're, we have the participants tell stories that are known and unknown. And these are very important components of community history. So in this module, the participants will take, like in this module, they take a, an important person they felt that had an impact on their life. They influenced them. It could be a community leader or it could be someone in the family. And what they do is they're creating a mixed media collage of that person telling their life story. So this is a way of doing visual storytelling because every person has a story and those stories are important. We want each participant to control their narrative. So we actually had them start out with uh, doing computer searches on uh, different items they may need to help tell that story. And they learn how to rank those things in order of priority, which is most important. So the participants are learning about how to utilize paint, create colors, and then with mixed media, they're learning about doing textures uh, and just bringing it whole, all together to create that collage of that person, person life. And what's neat is that each person has their own story to tell. So not a single painting in, in here is a duplicate of anything. So that's very important. And what we want is for each person to feel empowered, inspired, and feel that they, they have a continuum of their creative aging through continuing to learn. Because you never start learning. Uh, you know, as long as you're living and breathing, there's room to learn and this is empowering them to live a more productive, fruitful life. Well, this, this depicts my family home, and it was a period from 1960 to 1985. It was a beautiful, beautiful opportunity for children to grow up in. I've included some of the gatherings. We always celebrated uh, Memorial Day and the 4th of July. And <laughs> my piece is based on my father and uh, I started out with uh, the measure of Robert Comber Sneed, which was my dad. And of course the first part I says, what is man that thou art mindful of him? from Psalm uh, 8, 4, and 8. And one measure of a man is the 
uh, measure or extent to which he provides for his family. And initially I drew just a, on a sheet what I wanted it to be. And then this is the creation here. The picture we're working on is a picture of my dad. He was in the Army and the Navy. Uh, both of them combined is over 20 years. But when he retired in 62, he came back to live in Christiana. When they talk about people that influence your life, both my parents influenced my life, but I decided to do uh, the artwork on my dad, William Daddy Gray McKnight. And uh, I'm very happy with what we're doing, and my husband is helping me. He, he's an artist. He's, he's pretty good at it. He has more patience. <laughs> I'm just supervising. So a combination of the genealogy and family trees that we do and the artwork, I'm having a real good time in this class. <laughs>